So the next part of the lab is to import as an, an existing project uh, that will be in Moodle on, uh, onto your desktop and then unzip it and then open Code Warrior and import that project. The next please piece will be to import an existing C code uh, into that project and use that. So the first thing it asks us to do is to create a folder on our desktop, right click, I'll call it my Code Warrior space. And now I'm going to get the zipped project that's in Moodle. So that so it should be under latest zip project. These will change through the semester. So if I open that, click on this, and I want to save as. find that folder that I just made, save it in there. So now this is a zipped file. Now I need to unzip it, so I'm going to right click on it, extract all, and I don't want it to create another folder called ALG, which it will do. So Okay, so now it's, if I hadn't done that, it would do this. I'll just put it. And what it is is sort of a nested folder. So in here now there's a folder within a folder, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to delete that one. Okay, so here's the zip file, here's the folder. Now I'm going to open Code Warrior. If you haven't found it yet, you've installed it. Uh, it's under Freescale Code Warrior. It looks like a magnifying glass. I created a shortcut on my desktop called Code Warrior 10.3. Whichever version you're using will, will work. It could be 10.4. This, this should be. Uh, this should work fine as well. So I'm going to. Find that folder that I just found, and that's called my Code Warrior space. Okay. Do not check this. If you check this, other users on that computer will will go to this same space, and we don't want that to uh, happen. We, just, we we want to basically be asked every time where we're going. So don't check that. It will often ask us if we want to look at other licenses. No. Um, there's a, pro a new project wizard. I don't like using those, so we're going to just close that out. And now we're in Code Warrior. So how do we get that new pro that project that's in that folder that we just created? So I do File, Import. Now I need to go point this at that folder, my CW space. Don't go inside of it, just go stay on, the, on the, the outermost folder. It goes in and it finds that zipped, that unzipped project. And voila, there it is. There's now I've got an, an unzipped, sorry, an imported project. This one right here. And if I look at that project in Windows and I look at it in Code Warrior, it looks very similar. I've got a sources folder. Here I've got a sources folder with five, four files in it. I've got header file and a bunch of files in it. What we're going to do in the future is just add C. C files to this project. We shouldn't have to redo this unzipping every week, so we're just going to add new files as we go. So as you see in the source 
folder, there are four full files, two of which are hatched out, so they're not active, and two of which are active. This SAMTV will always be active, so never make this unactive. And the one that's currently active is template.c. So if I click on that C file, I, I get an editor window that opens up here, and I can see that code. And now just for the heck of it, I'm going to uh, build it. So I select the project. I hit project build all, or just build this project. I'll build all. That's compiling it. That's turning the C code into code that the microcontroller can understand. And now I'm ready to program the actual board. So if I have my volume turned up and I plug in, plug in my board, I hear the happy sound of a driver successfully installed. And now I'm ready to program the board. And I'm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I could go run debug configurations. And I could do this. Everything looks good. The SDA is installed properly. It's compiling this program. Okay, and now I've opened a new perspective called the debug perspective. I was in the C++ perspective here when I was editing my, uh, my code. But now I'm in the debug perspective. I get this error here. I don't know if you'll, you get this, but it doesn't seem to cause any issues if I close that out. Um, everything is ready to go. So here's this template C that I compiled. Here's the equivalent assembler code that we'll talk about later in the course. And without further ado, we'll just run the program. So in order to do that, I go to this debug window here. And if I run at full speed, I hit this green one, and something should happen to your board. And I'll let you decide what happens. I want to stop the whole process, I can hit this red one, or if I want to pause it, I hit the red, the, 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 the pause. I can restart the program if I hit pause. If I hit the red one, I'm done, and I've, the only way to get back is to, to reprogram the board. So if I go back to C++, instead of doing that run debug configuration thing that I did, I could simply hit the green bug here. This will save any changes that I've made and debug at the same time. And I get that silly error again. We'll figure that out as time goes. Okay, so you've imported a project, built the project, and programmed the board. Now what I might want to do is take an existing C file, go back to C++, uh, but if you're in debug, you always want to, to stop the process before coming back here. I always think it's just a good process to, to stop it before you come back and do work again. So there's a, full, a file in Moodle, I believe. A flashing LED. I'm going to save it. And I want to save it in a very specific place. I want to save it in my source folder of my project. So my CW space has the project that was unzipped. I open the project, I have a source folder, and I'll save it as flashing LED. 
No one will replace it. Yes. Okay, so it should be there. There it is. I just did it a minute ago. But it's not. So what I'm going to do now is make it the active folder or file. So in order to do that, I right click on template, exclude from build, make sure it's checked. Now it has a hash mark through it. And I want to make this one active. I right click. check it. So now it's active. So there should be a box that appears here. Check that. Okay, I don't need template anymore. I have to build it again. No errors. I got some warnings. That's okay. If I, if I had done something wrong, like had a syntax error, let's make a syntax error. And then try to build it. I would get a red error. It doesn't like something about this. Fix that syntax error, build it again. Just warnings. Warnings are okay. And then I can debug it. Run it, pause it, stop it. Or I can pause it and run it through single steps. Or I can run it. I can, like I just said, I can run it through single steps over here, or I can sort of jump over going to the function call. And see what it does. Okay, so before you go back and make changes, stop it. And then we'll go back to the C++ perspective and make any changes here. So that's all there is to that.